Hey, what's up? It's Gizmo, and this is a quick look at a, a little walkthrough at the new iOS 4 for the iPhone. Um, if you want to check out the free update on your iPhone, you can go into your, plug it into your iTunes and just click on check for update, and you should be able to get a you know update right away. So the first thing you see right now is there's a wallpaper on the back, and this dock on the bottom is completely different. Um, it's a reflective dock. As you can see here, if I want to move an icon, put something up here, and then move something down here, you're going to get the reflection on the bottom. It's really cool. We're going to look at a couple of the main features right now. So uh, let's just go over wallpapers. So I'm going to go into backgrounds and just grab something here. And let's say I want this. And I'm going to make this a wallpaper. And let's set it for both of my screens. So now, when I go home, I have a nice, grassy, calm, relaxing background. Um, I could have two different images if I wanted something different here. I could have something different here if I wanted. But I think you should really have a simple background for this. Um, something that just doesn't, you know, clog up or make it look too cluttered when you're trying to read the text. Another way to change your wallpaper is going into your settings and clicking wallpaper and you can choose from um, one of the following and you know go from there and you know you get their preset wallpapers they included more as you can see here some of the you know feminine flowers like stuff that I would probably not want on my screen but you could pick something simple and sharp and let's set this as our home screen and then I want this to be my lock screen and there you go so there's my home screen with a nice cool green metal background and then we got the bricks here and there you go it's as simple as that so there's probably some apps in the background that um, need to be set up for multitasking um, I just tried out one app and it didn't exactly work as they say so I'm going to show you one thing, it's so much more convenient instead of having all these pages of games and apps and all this junk. Um, it's pretty annoying to have all this. Uh, what you can do now is make folders. So I'm going to show you real quick how I could do this. So I'm going to take this art app, this little doodle one, and drag it into another one. And what it does is give it a, you know, a theme, it will automatically label it. But I don't want to call it that. Let's just call it, um, you know, graphics. And then I want to. There you go. There's my graphics folder. And if you want to put something else in there, you just simply drag it, drag it, drag it. And there you go. You get a little preview of. Um, up to nine icons on there where you could have up to 12 apps at a time in a folder. So there's my folder. Um, it's not going to swipe yet. All you do is tap outside it. So we'll make a little games folder right now. I oops. I'll call this games. All you do is simply drag and drop the games you want into the folder. We'll see what happens when I fill it up to the maximum amount. Let's see what it says. It even lets me. Alright, let's see how many we have here. There's 12 exactly. Alright, so we're going to put one more in there. See, it doesn't let you. So, the most you can do is 12. But there you go, I cleared up almost an entire page of games. I could do an entertainment folder. There you go, it already labeled it entertainment, something I would have called it in the first place, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is entertainment. This would probably go under utilities. There you go. 
data and I made a utilities folder so I don't even have to worry about that. So you can see already my my desktop is getting perfectly cleared up. Entertainment remote utilities. Some apps I might not even uh, need to put into a folder. You can even put folders on your home screen, which makes things really cool. So you could access almost, you know, a whole other set of, almost like another dock. Now, if you want to take a file out, all you do is simply drag it. There you go. So as we're doing this, we're seeing a lot of apps getting updated on the app store. As you can see, Ambiance here just got completely um, updated. Um, and so we have to go through and kind of update things that are made for OS4. So with email, now we get a unified inbox. I haven't even checked my email today, so everything's like crazy. Um, it tells you your accounts you have, and that's pretty cool. And if I wanted to go to that and just check my BTV account, check all my YouTube stuff, you know, I could check that. Or if I just wanted to check all my inboxes, everything's together in one nice, you know, inbox. All right, so we're gonna try out some multitasking stuff. So I have a text here. Uh, my friends at the Lakers parade, and um, you can see sent me a picture of everybody waiting, I'm apparently going crazy. But um, all right, let's go back here, and we'll check out my email. See if he sent anything. If I got any new news. This keeps me right where I'm at. So we're going to check out Ambiance and see how it works on uh, multitasking. Um, as you can see here, I kind of opened it up already, but we're going to play some annoying seagull sounds. Um, some people find it relaxing. Uh, sometimes I can find it relaxing, but anyway. We're going to go to the home screen. The sounds are still playing. I could still run my, you know, my iPhone and reply to a text. Sometimes if I'm taking a nap, the seagulls are loud. Sometimes if I'm taking a nap, um, I like to have the sounds, you know, if it's frogs or something, you know, birds in the background, just like calm and quiet, I can. Um, double tap the screen and you swipe over. You can access audio controls. This would be your iPod. And you can see my ambiance app is running in the background. If I wanted to close it, I could. And the app actually closes. Another thing we'll test out is Pandora. So we're going to test out a little um, multitasking action with uh, Pandora. So we're going to go over to my entertainment folder and find Pandora. And let's get some music streaming. Um, I'm going to play some Beyonce and see what she can do for us. So we got this not great song playing. Uh, we got these guys playing. So. We're going to go back to the home screen. We could get our text messages, see if anything, you no know, response from there at the parade. Probably going crazy. Um, my emails are here in the same condition as I left it. Let's see what else I could do. So, for the first time, you could finally run Pandora in the background, which is great. You could access um, Pandora controls right here skip a song. So now you could finally lock your screen instead of having you know a landscape. If you're laying in bed and you just wanna play on your iPhone, you could lock your screen in a vertical position so you could lay down and play. You know, it makes things a lot easier. And you could do it right there on the fly, so it's not that difficult to get to. And it seems like when you flip through these icons and stuff, it seems a little more fluid like smoother. So now when you open up the camera roll, you can go and see albums and places. So we can click places and you can see this took pictures of, I guess, where I was. Las Vegas. Go all the way over here to New Jersey. So it already has a couple pictures geotagged. So let's see what I took in New Jersey. That's pictures of me in the gym. So let's see what pictures I took up here in Milwaukee. There's one photo I took, so check it out. That was me on the actual plane. That's pretty cool. So we'll go over here and check out Vegas. 
Let's see what pictures I took in Vegas. 22 photos. So it organizes everything for my Vegas trip, which makes things a lot more easier to see if you're just trying to go to, you know, where you went, your trips, stuff like that. And um, makes things pretty cool. I kind of like that a lot. So now we're going to check out making playlists. So if I want to make a playlist, I could add playlists as a new option. Let's say we're going to call this the gym. And from there, I'm just going to go through and add any songs I want. Um, let's just say, you know, I'm just going to click any of these to make any of my choices, whatever I want. You know, so I'm done. So there's my playlist, the gym. And now it's not an on-the-go playlist. I can have, you know, my playlist anytime I want and access it and, you know, I'm good. So you can delete the playlist by clicking delete and it's gone. Simple as that. Also in photos, if you're on a Mac, you could use the faces option. So if you have somebody's face, you know, like a friend or something, you could go exactly right through there and, you know, click on one of their faces and stuff. Like say we got Tara's face. She's making a crazy face right now. Um, you know, you can get her face to be in it and do that kind of thing. So another really requested feature is if you want to send somebody an app as a gift, all you do is scroll down, click gift app, and what it's going to do is take you to the screen. You can hit next, and you can fill out their name, their email, and no, I'm not going to send it to anybody at this time. So that just shows you how you can gift an app. Another new feature is spell check. So if you're typing something, even if it's slang, you can get a little red underline in your words. So if you tap it, it'll tell you what you think you say. No, I'm not saying any of those words, so I'm gonna tap it again. And you know, you could ignore it. It's like you're going crazy. So there's that. So that's a quick look at iOS 4. Um, you could download it for free if you have the 3GS or the 3G and um, you know, tell us what you think if you're going to download it or if you're going to wait for the iPhone 4. Um, but it's a pretty cool update. It's a, it's a pretty big update um, with a lot of much needed features, especially multitasking. Some apps need to be updated. If I'm playing a game, if I'm in the middle of a game here, I cannot go to you know, my books and read and come back and play the game below. So make sure you update your apps, check the app store, and um, that's pretty much it for iOS. This is Gizmo, subscribe to our videos, and we'll check you soon.